and I hope that that person pays for the auction. I certainly hope they pay for it because the last auction I did Welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. My name is Kevin and this is my Commonwealth cabin. This is our Commonwealth cabin. If, especially if you've been around for a while, you've kind of seen that journey. But I am watching the countdown on the first of the 12 days of Christmas kind of fundraisers. We're going to surprise some folks and give some things away here in our community on in January on the Commonwealth Picker channel. And the very first one was, I think the first one we put out was a Oh, you know what? This one's going all to St. Jude. This was from Kristen, and that one's going to end here tonight. By the time you see this, it will have ended, and I hope that that person pays for the auction. I certainly hope they pay for it, because the last auction I did was for some gold. It was a gold chain, and that buyer just did never pay for what they had said they were going to pay for in an auction, so that, that kind of happens from time to time. I love running auctions. Really, they're just fun, but that is a inconvenience for sure whenever you're running an auction. I know some of y'all out there. How many of y'all run auctions? Tell me in the comments if you often run auctions and what type of items you are auctioning off. I'd be curious to know that. I know what kind of things I auction off, but I want to know what y'all auction off out there. And I hope that this person, pay whoever it is, pays for what this is and all those subsequent people because all that's going to go to some cool things and some good causes, especially that first mug's going entirely to St. Jude and want to thank Kristen. Hey, that reminds me, there's another person, Brian, donated some money to St. Jude and he did it in the name of Reagan and Turner, the homeschool hustlers, which kind of is near and dear to our hearts. So that is awesome. If I remember, I'll put that on the end of the video. So Brian, I thank you. And I do want to talk about auctions for just a second. So I had a gold chain that I listed and the person never paid for it. And it's gone through the cycle now. And today, I haven't seen it relisted yet, but today, it should be automatically relisted as an auction at the same time that it started. At least I think that's what's supposed to happen. And I haven't seen it yet. So do you guys have your set with somebody not paying for an auction? I know a lot of people commented the other day in the video that they always have immediate pay. And I always have immediate pay. But there are some exceptions. Obviously auctions and then best offers and stuff like that aren't always immediate pay. So at any rate, we did sell a lot of stuff today. A lot like 28 orders, 500 and something dollars. I'm not doing them all today, but we'll do a good bit of them. So let's take a look. First item I got off my little perfume shelf over here. Avon Somerset. Not amazing, but you know what? We didn't pay much of anything. I think I think I paid a dollar and it's over $10 plus shipping. And next item is right here. And I wish I knew the name of this garage sale. I'd like to go back and, and watch it. You know, sometimes it's easy when you have just a couple garage sales on a video. But I think I had a bunch of them on this one. If anybody remembers where I got this from, and there's another item, and I absolutely can't remember where I got that from either. Sonic the Hedgehog. And when I bought this thing out of a bin, just full of junk, this, this garage sale was kind of nasty, to be honest with you. And I bought this thing out of there. I saw it kind of peeking out. It looked terrible. And so I had to spend three or four minutes really wiping it down, cleaning it up, blowing it out, and testing it. Had to take the batteries out, no corrosion at least, and put the new batteries in. And guess what? It worked. And I think I might have maybe paid a dollar for it. I think I got it in a big giant bundle. So I probably am into it. Maybe 50 cents. Sold for $15 plus shipping. And this is 1988 Tiger Electronics. I always look for those handhelds. This is, I knew this because it's Sonic, right? It's going to be okay. But the little baby handhelds, the old ones, the little credit card size ones, those sell really, really good money. A lot of you retro folks out there, you know that. A lot of you vintage gamers out there, you guys know that. But even some of the boring ones, Radica ones, are doing okay. They don't do quite as good as they used to, but they're still okay. All right, next one I'm assuming went to a viewer because there were two items. One's here, I'll pull it down in a minute. So this one I remember buying because I bought this in Columbia, South Carolina. When we were on vacation back a couple months ago, we were traveling. And one of the stops at night we stopped at was in Columbia. And I went to some garage sales. And this is one I picked up there. I think I paid 50 cents for it. You know, I just picked it up because I'm like, hey, Snoopy sells. I figured it would sell for seven, eight dollars. It did. It sold for seven fifty, I think, or eight dollars plus shipping. But I think it went to a viewer because it went with another Snoopy item. This is a Peanuts Advent Tree Snoopy sells. 
obviously, but this is Department 56, which also does okay, depending on what it is, of course. And this one was in good condition. I don't remember where I got it. So if anybody remembers the garage sale where I picked this thing up, let me know, because sometimes, you know, I really remember most of the stuff, but I just can't remember this one at all. But either way, it's still sold. So $7.50 or $8 for that, I can't remember. And then $35 for this combined plus shipping. And I think it went to a viewer, but I'm not sure. And I don't want to say the name because it might, be, it might be a gift. If you sent me a message, let me know in the comments and I'll try to remember to, to thank you next time. So it's pretty cool though. I like it. The kids and I, we, we watch some uh, Christmas movies and we try to get at least one in. About this time of year, all the way up, you know, 10 to 15 days out, we try to watch one movie a night together. And the other day we got two and we got a Christmas Carol and we got Charlie Brown's Christmas in. So I do remember where I got this one from. I can't remember the name of the video, but I do remember the sale. And I paid up a little bit for it. I wasn't really thrilled about the buy, to be honest with you. I paid $5 for it. But you know what? It still sold. It sold for $18.95 plus shipping. So we'll make a little bit of money. Maybe right around $10, bucks, 11 bucks. Turner, what is that that sold out of your uh, store? A Minecraft sword? It's a Minecraft sword, isn't it? Turn it sideways so everybody can see it. So yesterday I showed you how I did this so I could get it under 15 ounces or 16 ounces, get it first class. And this time I got it to 11.8 ounces, I think. So we're going down a little bit further. <laughs> so we'll get that out cheap. All right, what else you got over there? Uh, Stegosaurus Rex. Stegosaurus, <laughs> that's right. And this one right here is a Welch's Stegosaurus and it sold for, I think, six plus shipping. So, pretty good sales, Turner. Enough for you to do what? Save a dollar, spend a dollar, and donate. All right. Did you do ninja stuff tonight? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, tumbling. Tumbling tonight. All right. But actually, trampoline. Trampoline. All right, buddy. Thanks for joining us. Bye. I turned the camera off when I transitioned to picking up a few items over here, and my phone's going crazy with a bunch of bids <laughs> on all that 12, 12 days of Christmas stuff. So, that is awesome. I don't know. I know what's going to be the next item out, but I don't know if I want to put it on this video or if I'm going to put it on the next one because I want Reagan to do it for me. So at any rate, we did sell a few minor things and a couple of cool sales. So let's take a look. Before I do that, I forgot I had this one pulled before and I didn't talk about it. So this is not an amazing one, but you know what? I saw this laying on a table while I was buying stuff and it was only a dollar. I'm like, yeah, I'll make like four bucks on it. So that's what I did. I sold it for $10, which is the original retail there at Bed Bath & Beyond. With free shipping, it's really light. It's a four ounce item and it'll fit in the four by two by seven box perfectly. And I probably would not put that in a poly bag because it could get crushed, even though more than likely it'd be all right, but I wouldn't do it anyways. And so with the cost of the box, the cost of the item, you know, we're looking at right around four and a quarter after fees, shipping, cost of the item and the box hard for me to say no on something so easy to list all right we sold something out of the froggy flips drawer all right froggy flips here we go this should be scooby-doo right here and we've been selling these off we were already in pure profit nothing amazing but three reels here all scooby-doo eight dollars free shipping three items back here i think two of them are liberty the first one we haven't sold too many of these lately that's not it. It's one of these size large. There it is right there. $2 a piece. Selling them for $15. So not amazing profits, but right around $7.50, I think. And we had so many of them, so many the same size. Bought them for $2 at Walmart. And, you know, we're doing okay on them. All right, next item is back here, and it is more Liberty stuff. I usually pick up this kind of stuff in free boxes, free bins. There's just a bunch of Liberty kind of eclectic stuff in here. And I sell it. It's not worth much money. We'll make a little bit. Like this sold for ten dollars, free ship. I probably got it for free or fifty cents, so we'll make four fifty on it, five bucks. I sell so much Liberty stuff that I want people to be able to find all kinds of stuff in my store. It keeps them coming back, even if I'm not making big money on that stuff. All right, next item should be in this one because it's Tupperware. I think I see it right there, the Vermont bin. If I can grab it. All right, there it is. It is not amazing, but you know what? This sold for, I think, $7 plus shipping. Probably paid 50 cents or a quarter. Not too bad. I'll tell you what, salt and pepper shakers, they do really well if you have the pear and the S and the P on them. I mean, you can get $25 for them. So if you find that Tupperware out there, it's not all good. I would pass up tons and tons of it. But if you find certain ones, you know, this is really easy. 
you put this thing in a six by four by four box, I think it might be longer than six inches here. Let me see. Ooh, it is almost exactly six inches. So it's going to have to go in probably, mm, I might even bubble wrap that and then put it in a bubble envelope. We'll see. Keep it uh, under four ounces. All right, Reagan just got home from gymnastics. You got that thing off your arm, yeah. didn't you? All better now? Yeah. Okay, what do you got? Two sales out of the CommonwealthPicker.com store. Uh, both two blue Commonwealth Picker shirts and Andrea and Daniel got them. And Angela and Angela? No. Andrea. Andrea. Jeez. And Daniel. All right, awesome. I like those blue bags. You liking them? Yes. Sweet. We got a few more to go. Christmas is coming. All right, thank you. Bye, and don't forget to get your sticker at CommonwealthPicker.com. Hey, this is the end of the road right here. End of the road. To live in Israel without believing in miracles is not practical. David Ben-Gurion. There you go. Last one. $12.99 free ship. We made a bunch of money on these. We only made it like $8 at a time. Except for one person bought a ton of them. We made a little bit more because we got to combine all that shipping and make uh, some pretty good money on it. But you know, $8 every time we sell one. Easy. One listing. I don't know how many we had. $25, $30, $40. I don't know how many we had. But 8 bucks a pop profit that's after fees after expenses and the beautiful thing about them i'm gonna miss these is they fit in the eight by six by four box like perfectly put a little paper on top tape it up good to go happy hanukkah by the way what are we in day five i think something like that all right i don't know if you can see it or not there's a tigger ornament here there's one up here i don't think you can see that one well i couldn't find it. i'm like oh i thought there was one tigger ornament left and i just sold two one of them is going to go out today. The other one will probably go out tomorrow because it just got bought. And they were on discount. They did not sell last year. It was in a big giant buy that we had. And we're making a little bit of money on them. But they're going out, I can't even remember, eight seventy, eight dollars and seventy cents. They'll go out for four ounces. And it'll go in a four by four by four box. And we'll make a little bit of money on them. But we do have an extra spot. So I had to pick out a couple of new ornaments. I picked out a couple that I'm going to put up here because the... I picked out a couple that I'm going to put up here because I know that one's got to go tomorrow too. So what do you think? Mule Tide Greetings. And these sold out like crazy. I might not even have this listed. I got to check. But Coca-Cola and Santa Claus sells. So a little surprise this one hadn't sold yet. I had like, I don't know, seven or eight of these and they all sold. So maybe I just mislisted the quantity. All right. Had a viewer make a purchase of two items. Stephanie. So thank you, Stephanie. I'm going to read your note here in just a second. This came from a garage sale. This is my kind of deal. You know, people miss this stuff, right? Multi-quantity. I love this stuff. I bought this entire thing. I can't remember exactly how many. Maybe 40, 20. I don't remember. But I bought it. I think it was entitled. I offered him $100 for his garage sale find. And we were talking about some vintage Masters of the Universe stuff, which is really cool and makes some money and is really fun to list. But in reality, this little buy right here is going to make far more money than that tub full of gold right there. So at any rate, and this was bought with one other thing. It was bought with this Britney Spears perfume. And I think combined, both of the two sold for $21.80 plus shipping. And so it makes it a nice little deal. I would, it's definitely going to stay first class. So we'll combine that shipping. So this is going out to Stephanie. She says, hi, Kevin. Love watching your YouTube channels. I love how you're so dedicated to your family. Well, thank you. So refreshing to see. My husband and I love how you teach your children to give and to save and, of course, to spend. <laughs> you know, Reagan isn't the biggest spender in the world. It's hard for her to go out and buy something for herself. But she did the other day. We were at Goodwill, and she bought herself a necklace and a koala plush. And I thought that was pretty cool. Turner has no problem spending none whatsoever. <laughs> Reagan is a saver. I'll tell you how much they save, y'all. They're taking this money and they're doing exactly that. They're they're giving. We've got that coming up on a video we're going to show you. And they are saving. And they're saving quite a bit because of your generosity. And they are spending too. But not as much as they're saving and donating. I can tell you that. I decided I needed that lipstick holder for Santa, wink, wink, to put in my stocking. There you go. And I love this perfume bottle. And I'm curious, curious was what it was called, to know what the scent is like. Merry Christmas and many blessings to your to you and to your family. So the eBay store is Sassy Granny Plus. I think that's right. So thank you so much, Stephanie. We appreciate it. It's headed your way. All right, second item going out to a viewer, or third maybe if those uh, peanuts things are going out to a viewer, which I think they are. 
And then, of course, one Anna Man in just a second. This one's going out to Christina. She says, Hello, Kevin. I've been watching your channel since February and really enjoy the content. My parents had this print in their child in my childhood home and completely forgot about it until I saw it in a recent video. I had to get a copy to give to my parents for a fun Christmas present. I know my whole family will get a good laugh out of it. Wishing you and your family a happy and healthy holiday season. Christina from Florida. Christina, thank you so much. This is the third one of these we've sold. And I think another one just came across. And I think this is the first one to a viewer. So thank you so much. Somebody asked me how I ship these. I actually ship them in an LP box. So those boxes are a little... I mean, that's like 52 cents or something like that when it's all said and done. 53 cents for that box. But I justify it with a couple things. One is it's just so easy. So easy, you know. And I'm making almost pure profit on this. We're into this for just a few, maybe a nickel. I don't even know exactly. Actually less than that. We're into this for like three cents. So the fact that we have no money into it, I'm going to invest, you know, a 53 cents in a box. We're going to make sure it stays in good shape. Because, you know, somebody pays $8.99 plus shipping for something as simple as this. You want it to show up looking pretty decent. Right. The other reason is it's just easy. And so if I were to cut out something to make this thing secure, also then go and put it in a poly bag, you know, there's cost to that too. So you're maybe into that for 15 cents. So it's really, you're looking at like 40, 42 cents extra in cost to put it in that box. And I'm okay with that because it's going to save me like four or five minutes of shipping time. I can take that time and list something else. So I think it's a good use of money to use something like that that's a little pricey as opposed to going and cutting out the cardboard and taking the time. So at any rate, let me know what you guys think. How would you ship this out there? Tell me in the comments. All right, I listed one in a man on the eBay store and it is headed out to Michael. Michael, I think you're a viewer. And if you are, I don't know if you are or not, but you probably are since you bought this thing. So thank you so much. And he's headed your way and we hope he gets things moving for you. All right, everybody. Thanks as always. I don't know if I'm going to put the next item that is going to go on that auction for uh, charity on this thing or not. I know we'll probably have the kids opening some of those gifts that y'all have sent us for the Christmas tree. I think we're almost full, so we're going to have to start decorating this tree out there. So hopefully your Christmas shopping is coming to an end here. Hopefully your Q4 is ending well. I know there's been so many troubles out there. Hey, you know what? I went up and ate dinner from the cabin to in here. I went up and ate dinner for a minute and I started to think about the auction. And I started to think about what somebody said yesterday. Why can't they make people pay automatically when they win an auction? Why can't they have all that information set up? And so when they win, they just automatically pay. And I thought, you know what, that's a pretty good idea. Tell me what you think in the comments. Why doesn't eBay make the change to make people who buy something on auction pay for that item automatically? I, you know they can do it, right? You would think eBay would do it. Now, one thing I did think about is, you know, even if somebody comes on and buys something out of your store, they can back out of it. So even if they did make them, they could certainly also have them back out. So I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comments. And thank you for joining us as always. We can't wait to see you next time all right y'all we got some christmas ornaments here first let me start with this one y'all you like that one turner yeah, yeah. you like it it's pretty cool start. commonwealth commonwealthpicker.com commonwealth picker i like it yeah. that is from our buddy mike reagan you know who this is this oh, is yes. mike this is our guy who yeah. makes all of our shirts mm -hmm. and our mugs and all that stuff and he's a viewer and he's really really kind so y'all if you need something uh, merch or anything, you know, let me know. I'll tell you how to get in contact with them. Now, what happened to that? Where it's is here. it? Oh, it's yeah. in there. Take it out for me. Okay. Let's take a look. While you're doing that, let me look at this one over here. This one, Turner, what do you think of this? A uh -oh. miniature license plate. That's cool. That is perfect for our cabin. From yes. Oklahoma, and this is Rafa and Annette, and they have a YouTube channel, Early Bird Picker. And, I mean, that's just perfect right there. I love it. Thank you all so much. We're going to put that on the tree. I think we're going to have to start putting putting some on the tree inside. Yeah. Now, this one, I don't know who it's from. It looks like it was bought from this company and sent to us. Either that or it was from this company, which I doubt, but you never know. So, would you please, if you send us this, it is nice. We like yes. it a lot. It's very pretty. Uh, we're going to put it on the tree. If you send us that, leave us a comment below and we'll uh, say thank you to you. And, Turner, this is from Canada. Wow. Right here, the license plate from Canada. Cool. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Canada. I love it. And I don't have the name here of who left it. So let me go look real quick. All right, I just looked at the uh, address here, unless I'm missing another note. It's Ed. 
Ed, thank you so much. First of all, I absolutely love that it's from Canada. And I love the blue and the white. What do you think, Greg? Mm -hmm, awesome. We might put it right there. Or, I don't know. We'll find a spot for it. I need another one somewhere. I just can't remember where. Plus, I need to find another bin besides this basket one. And we'll put it right there, I think. Or, you know what, Reagan? We could start putting them on your shirt bins back there, too. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Yeah. I love it, guys. Thank you so much. We'll get them on the tree here pretty darn quick. All right. Bye. See ya.